Welcome back to In Conversation with Andreas and Steve. How important is time? If you're hit by a ransomware attack, time between identification and remediation is the only thing that matters. Have a listen to the guys. It, it seems like when, when people get hit, which invariably many do, there's the time between detection when they first find about it, find out about it, and then you know the process of remediation. And the shorter you can keep that time frame, it seems like the, the, the less you'll be hit. How important is time in the equation? Time is the only thing that matters. And, you know, it really is. So it's, it's two separate questions, right? Time to detect and then time to remediate. I think those, it's important to see those as two, two, separate, two separate time segments. The best attack is one that you don't have to recover from because you've detected it in time. And this is, you know, we always tell our clients, you should have a, a multi-pronged strategy and you should, you know, our own product at Nasuni has a detection mechanism in place to try to detect the attack before the attack even begins, or rather, as soon as it begins, which pretty much means there's no attack because you're starting the encryption. You may have encrypted one, two files, but boom, you detect it, you're done, you shut the door and there's no more exposure. That's the ideal scenario. But, you know, this is a cat and mouse game. The more we refine our detection algorithms, the more the hackers refine their attack vectors. And eventually you're gonna be in a situation where the attack can actually go through the detection mechanisms that you put in place because there are practical matters here. You know, like if you have a super sensitive detection mechanism, you may get so many false alerts from it that you start ignoring them. And that's a worse case than actually having some detection. So detection is always leaky. It's, you know, it's why missiles are so effective in war. You know, you can have all the defense mechanisms in the world, but eventually you're going to get hit by a missile from somewhere. And then what you have to be prepared to do is recover very quickly. So whether it is that the detection took longer to detect that, I mean, ultimately you're going to know you've been attacked because your users are going to go to their files and they're not going to be able to open the files because they're encrypted. And when that happens, your ability to assess the magnitude of the attack, so very quickly say, okay, these 700 terabytes have been compromised. It started on time T, and I can now unwind the entire system, and I can do that in a matter of hours. That's the real defense against ransomware, to take away from the hands of the ransomware attackers the leverage of time against you by basically being able to do the assessment and the recovery in a short amount of time. So that keeps you out of the hot seat with, you know, your board, your CEO, because you can now go back into operations within hours, but also it takes the leverage away on the ransomware thing. You don't have to negotiate. You don't have to call the insurance company. You don't have to do any of that nonsense because you're essentially recovering. You are able to recover yourself without having to rely on negotiation. 